we are in Belton, Missouri, and uh, we're here to buy some bison. Aren't we, Brooks? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're expanding real fast. Yeah, they come in this pen a lot faster than I thought. That didn't take long. That one right there. So, you guys are probably wondering, Dusty, what in the world are you doing with four two-year-old bulls and five yearlings? Well, there's a lot of questions there, but some of you have asked and some of you have been interested um, in do we create a meat line? Well, this is the beginning process of a meat line. I know some of you may be upset about that. Um, it may come at you the wrong way. I want to promise you something right now. I am not slaughtering or processing any of the animals that you've got to know along this journey. Um, Dunbar, Eleanor, Peaches, any of them. Guys, I want you to understand they will not be slaughtered, okay? The calves I have right now will not be slaughtered. I went and purchased these animals from another producer to kind of speed up our journey. It takes bison a long time. It's like a four or five year process just to have bison calves where you can actually sell them. If you want to sell them for meat, if you want to sell them for breeding, it can take four or five years depending on what animals you have. And so you've been with me a while. Remember, we just started off with yearlings and um, this it just takes a while. But my wife and I have come together and try to create a business plan and uh, we're wanting to get into the meat side of it because whether you know it or not, and I may have mentioned it, these are some of the healthiest animals. This is some of the healthiest meat that you can eat. And um, that's all I'm gonna get into right now. And I know you guys probably have lots of questions for me and what we're gonna do with these animals. We're not changing a whole lot, but we're gonna bring you some new stuff that um, I'm really excited about, something I've been a, a huge fan of for a long time that I just love to eat. Um, so I just want you guys to be ready for it and I'm just letting you know there's some good stuff happening and there's some good stuff coming. Um, we're still keeping our two herds, Big Joe herd and our Dunbar herd. Nothing is changing there, okay? Stay with me, I promise. We're just having some new additions and uh, some new things happening with the Cross Timbers Bison uh, herd that we're getting into. So I just want to thank Peter Cole uh, Peter's been uh, in this industry for about as long as Doc Parsons has, and uh, he's he's a, really into the meat side of things. He's got Casey Buffalo Company. If you guys don't know what Casey Buffalo Company is, it's located just south of Kansas City, and he supplies a lot of bison meat to the Kansas City area, and he has lots of customers that he's built a reputation with for, I don't know, the past 30 years or so. 